Shalom, brothers. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Radash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I came across this beautiful Judite woman's video um, of what occurred while she was out on a date, brothers. And while listening to her, it occurred to me how low and degraded our people have become in terms of their standards. But I won't rob her of that experience. I'll let her share it with you. Because what we have to understand, even in the ancient world, the men of Israel, we were only dealing with virgins. And, and what men do not understand is the value that an untouched woman has. Me coming out of the world, I've dealt firsthand, and I'm sure many of you brothers have dealt with women that have the DNA, the spirit of other men on them. Or, or you dealt with women that have children or, or by another man. Or you may have a couple of children by her or and or she has children by other men as well, brother. And it's a nightmare. I want to be clear with you. But let me jump right into these precepts and we'll get right to her video. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 5. And this is why our laws, our, our statutes, our commandments were so important. Right? Because that woman would only know you, brothers. But nevertheless, let's get right into it. For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall Yahweh rejoice over thee. You have to remember this, brothers. Part of our custom, Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 17, it states, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Right? Of the daughters of Zion. No whores. And we got to think about something in this current society. Right, this current Babylonian rulership, whoredom, thotism is what worshipped. Right, it's frowned upon. Let's go from there. We got to remember something in the coming kingdom, and also as we come into back into this knowledge, we are considered kings and what priests. What kind of women did the priests deal with? Well, Leviticus chapter twenty-one verse ten tells us. Right, the high priest, the one among his brothers who has had the anointing oil poured on his head and who has been ordained to wear the priestly garments. Verse, verse pardon me, 13 states, the woman he marries must be a what? Virgin. Even when you, the virgin, pardon me, brothers, even when you look at what happened during Esther's time and she was under a heathen, Persian, heathen's rulership. What did that king require? Let's get right into it. And it, and it reads, Then said the king's servant that ministered unto him, Let there be a fair, let there be fair young virgins sought for the king. Because, of course, in our kingdom, a man can have more than one woman, right? That's not against the law. So, not only are we going to deal with a virgin, we're going to have all of our wives are going to be virgins, brothers, right? Let's come out of that. Now, let's jump right into this woman's testimony here it's a little bit lengthy it's almost five minutes but I, I know that it's going to add value to this woman value to you brothers pardon me but i was going to say and i'm going to say it now look at this woman look how beautiful she is natural hair glowing skin you know she doesn't have to try very hard and this is before she gets her glory brothers and it's just my humble belief that the lord put the spirit on this on this man to to as you read i got ghosted mid-date to ghost her because the lord is saving and preserving this woman for one of us elect brothers and hopefully be honest with you brothers it's me but nevertheless let's get right into it i got ghosted mid-date let me tell y'all how i got ghosted on a first date okay so i matched with this guy on hinge um we talked for about a day or two before he got my number and um we talked for like a couple uh, about 30 minutes good conversation um so he plans a date to go to the park piedmont park in, here in atlanta and um the plan was to go to the park and afterwards go to a pizza spot because we love pizza and so after that um we wanted to you know get pizza and you know chill and talk after that so the 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 day of the the park meetup um happens and we get there, I meet him, he's a good looking guy, tall, dark and handsome. Um so we hit it off really good. Um we have good conversation, you know, 
we're talking about our life or, or traveling, um, where we want to go to, our careers, our job, our love languages. We're having a good conversation. And um, so the topic of relationships comes up. And, you know, as someone who was saving their self for marriage, who was also a virgin, I bring that up on a first date because, you know, we're not wasting our time out here. Why not? <laughs> I want to share something with you, brothers. You know, in the scriptures, this states, the Lord has kept 7,000 men from bowing a knee to Baal. We have to understand something, brothers. Just like the Lord is preserving a complete number of men, he's also preserving a complete number of women too as well for us, for the elect men. Remember, you have the elect sisters out there too as well. The Lord is going to, when Isaiah 4 and 1 takes place, brothers, the Lord is going to take care of us. He's going to have an elect remnant for us, brothers. Okay? Just keep that in mind. So I tell him that, and he's not, he's like, oh my God, that's really good. Uh, I really respect that. You, that's very ad admirable of you. I respect that. Um, respect that. And 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 after that, I'm thinking things are going well, you know. But after that, we continue having the, our good conversation. We continue talking, getting to know each other. At this point, we're like out there for about 30, 40 minutes. So he walked me to my car, um, and so we, the pizza place is across the street. So he drove his car, I drove my car. So he goes in front of me, and um, I'm behind him. And we drive over to the pizza spot, and I park, and um, I'm, you know, getting my things, get out the car. And I notice I don't see his car or anything. I'm just like, oh, maybe he parked in a different parking lot. So I drive over. Um, no, 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 I walk up to the, to the front of the entrance of the pizza place and I'm looking around and I'm just like, oh, I don't see him. Where's he at? So I call him and I'm just like, to see where he's at. And I call him and it goes straight to voicemail. It, it rings one time and goes straight to voicemail. So in my head, I'm thinking, oh, he's just trying to call me same time I'm calling him. So I call him again, straight to voicemail. That's odd. Call it one more time and then go straight to voicemail. So I'm just thinking in my head, oh, let me go back to my car. So I opened the Hinge account. And y'all, he freaking unmatched me and he blocked me. I'm just like, wow. Is that what? <laughs> and really, brothers, you know. We should be giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, that the Lord put the spirit on his brother to ghost this woman here. Look at this woman here. She is beautiful, man. Look at her spirit. It's pleasant. You know, you can tell that she not she doesn't have that thought or ran through energy on her, right? Beautiful sister. Let's get back to it. What are we doing now? Is that what we are doing now? And so I am flabbergasted at this point. I'm just like, okay. Let me go home. This man is rude. He didn't even have the decency to say, oh. I'm not interested, but to go to me mid date, that is wild behavior. <laughs> and mind you, y'all, this man is 30 years old, 30 years old. This is wild behavior. Y'all, this is wild behavior. This is like literally wild behavior. <laughs> and so I'm just like, really? I'm just like, wow, really? <laughs> So the next day, I get a text, and I'm going to put it on the screen for y'all to read. And I'm just like, wow, you didn't even have the decency to say, you know, I'm not interested. Um, it was good getting to know you, but I'm not interested, uh, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, y'all, dating out here is very interesting. But at least I saved myself a headache. <laughs> Because, y'all, men will show you who they are in the beginning. You just have to listen. You just literally have to listen. Anyways, that is a part of my dating journey in my 30s. But all is well. But the person that God has for me would be perfect for me. So, no worries. God, have a good one. And she's 100% correct, you know. And through the Spirit, the Lord has an elect man preserved for her. Right? He's gonna, the Lord's going to preserve this woman. 
for the time of Jacob's trouble and for the time for Isaiah, Isaiah 4 and 1 to take place. Well, let me come out of this, brothers. Let me go. Let me come out of this and let me go here. Right. Because. As kings and priests of the Lord, remember, it's stated in Leviticus chapter 21, verse 7. They must not marry women defiled by prostitution, divorce or divorce from their husband because they are priests unto the Lord their God. See, the current, I'm going to tell you who that Jake was looking for. That Jake was looking for a chick like this, man. You see, and this is what the majority of you Jakes are looking for. A woman that's ran through, no walls. She belongs to the streets, man. She has that demonic thought energy on her. She's out there running around. She's in the world and of the world. Now look at this Jake here. He takes pleasure in doing this in front of all these damn people here. But see, these are these, this, that's part of the two-third crew, man. Okay? Let's get back into it, man. Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 22. And it goes on to state, They must not marry widows or divorce women. They marry only virgins of, the, of Israel descent or widows of priests. Why does it say widows of priests? Because... Obviously, a priest must have passed on, leaving the woman a widow, and she only knows what? One man. Okay, let's go from there. Right? We gotta remember something. In first Peter's it tells us, first Peter chapter two, verse nine, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, you have a special possession, that you might declare the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into the marvelous, into his, pardon me marvelous light and what's the marvelous light the wisdom the knowledge the understanding of these scriptures you have the right comprehension you have the understanding that's sealing you making you one of the elect okay remember we are a chosen priesthood a royal nation of kings and priests even when david let me go to this precept here even when david was in his old age he was still king what did they do for david in first Kings chapter one um, verses 1 and 2. Now the king David was old and struck in years, and they covered him with clothes, but he got no heat. Therefore his servants said unto him, Let there be sought for my lord the king a young what? Virgin. And let her stand before the king, and let her cherish him, and let her lie in thy bosom, that my lord the king may get heat. And we're grown people here. We understand what type of heat comes from when a man and a woman are lying together. But what you have to see, and I hope that you see through the spirit, is that the kings and the priests, even of the heathen nations, they only dealt with virgins. And that's all we're going to have, brothers. We're only going to deal with virgins, brothers. Because when the Lord comes, we have to understand something. This is a future prophecy in Isaiah chapter 4, verses 3 and, and 4 as well. Those who are left in Zion, who remain in Jerusalem, will be called holy, right? Because as Peter states in another place, the kingdom of heaven is going to be a kingdom where righteousness dwell. Okay? The Lord states also in the book of Isaiah, all my people shall be holy. Let me continue reading. All who are recorded among the living in Jerusalem. That's those who are recorded in the Lamb's book of life. What does the Lord say he's going to do? The Lord will wash away any filth from the women of Zion. He will cleanse the bloodstains from Jerusalem by a spirit of judgment and a spirit of what? Fire. So that spirit is going to be taken off our people, right? Like I said, the laws is going to be written in your inward parts. You know, brothers are going to have beautiful virgins waiting on them, man. Okay? But for now, we're in the flesh. So what washes us, what cleans us now? This word cleanses us, right? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26 and 7. Verse 26 and 27, pardon me. And this is how we ought to deal with our women now, right? Because I deal with my wife this same way. And brothers, this is where you have to become masters of the scriptures so you can wash your wife with this word. Let's get right into the precepts here. That he may sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of the water by what? The word, because it cleans her mind. It renews her spirit, right? That he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. We got to remember something, brothers. As we learn these scriptures, 
we're washing and cleansing ourselves. We're becoming like virgins also, right? So not only do we wash and cleanse and renew ourselves, we renew our women, but we have to remember as men of the Lord, we're likened unto virgins also, right? What do we see this again in Revelation chapter 14, verse 4, 144, call her law, how by shimmy, how shy. Remember the scripture states this, these are those who did not defile themselves with women, for they remain what? Virgins. That means we didn't get it, it, um, tainted by other doctrines, right? We didn't get, we didn't get, we didn't become defiled by other philosophies. They follow the lamb wherever he goes. They were purchased from among mankind and offered as first fruits to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So this is what we have to look forward to, brothers. You know, we can't imagine the glory that our women are going to have. And I think, no, no, no let me remove that statement. We recant that statement. That two-third nigger did us a tremendous favor. And I pray that this woman keeps her virginity because the Lord is preserving her. This is what we have to look forward to here, brothers. Women who don't know anybody else but us, right? Women who, who, who long for us. Women who are only going to know us in the kingdom. Let me grab you brothers a few more pictures, brothers. Because I use this as an end sample, brothers. Because like the scripture states, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard all that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai has to reveal to those that love him. You got to remember, our women are going to be back in their glory. You got to remember, this was a this was a beautiful sister here. And she's, she's not even in her glory, man. Okay? So I hope that this lesson has been edifying. The Lord is going to preserve several versions for his elect men. Shalom.